Hello YouTubers, my name is Elijah and today we are going to review smartphone Bluebook Dual. If you watched my previous videos, you may know that I only review devices that me personally interested in. And this device is interesting. And the main reason, two rare cameras, one of which more specific 13 megapixel Sony camera, responsible for static images, while second 2 megapixel subsidiary camera, helping to capture depth information. In the other words, double camera is supposed to define the distance between the primary object and the background. Blue Boudoule become one of the first smartphones in the budget segment with this feature. And since this is the main feature, we will start our review with camera. We have tested it in the different light conditions and my final opinion about the rare camera is quite controversial. On one hand, you are waiting for something extraordinary, but in reality, images are still a bit overexposed and under mix and dim lights there are still a lot of noises. On the other hand, pictures in any light condition except maybe those that made in complete darkness with the flashlight are very nice and sharp has amazing color rendering and saturation. Videos made by rear camera are outstanding and cut above most of the video made by other phone cameras in the price segment and maybe even on more expensive phone. It is very sharp, quickly out of focusing and almost instantly adjusts lighting. 5 megapixel rear camera interpolated to 8 megapixel is not the best camera on the market, but not worst one either. Images from this camera may fit Instagram if not pay attention to amount of noises and blue due to the low resolution. As camera app, Blue Boodle using their own application called SLR Camera which is a bit more convenient and advanced. It has several additional filters and modes such as SLR modes that fully use an advantage of double camera. Blue Boodoo equipped with 5.5 inch Full HD IPS display. There is no much to say except that display is very sharp, bright and colorful and can work even on direct sunlight. Moreover, thanks to new generation of IPS matrix in OGS, it doesn't convert colors under any angle and leaving colors the same as if you are looking at this play directly. Design of the device itself is visually pleasing but doesn't have any special features that worth mentioning. Smartphone built on Android 6.0 with Bluebus own UI has different icons, no menu and instead all the application now located on your desktop. There are also some alterations in the settings such as mirror vision, super battery saving mode that basically setting the phone into the plain mode with ability to receive calls and short message. And of course smart accessibility where included settings such as off-screen gestures, smart call answer and few others. Under the hood device running quad-core MTK6737 has 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal memory. With that configuration of hardware, smartphone can be hardly called as gaming device. And practice and testing only proving my words, games such as Modern Combat 5 and Asphalt 8 Airborne can be barely played on highest setting due to significant FPS drops, while the games such as Dead Trigger running without any troubles. Epic Citadel on the ultra high setting showing the result 23 FPS and the anti 2 given to the device a score 4169. After few minutes of playing, device heated considerably, what eventually will affect overall performance. Battery life is quite decent and under the load of Epic Citadel with 50% brightness and modules turned off, device holds the charge for about 3 hours. With the normal use, battery will hold charge for about 12-15 hours, depends on usage. Fingerprint scanner is quite good and will recognize your finger in 9 out of 10 times, however it mostly depends on how well defined your fingerprints are. In total, Blue Boodle is the smartphone worth the price. As any other device, it has its drawbacks such as not really good game performance, but its big number of advantages such as pleasant design, sharp screen, responsive fingerprint scanner and very nice dual camera easily compensated. Moreover, let's not forget that device costs not much than 130 USD. If you like the device, you can buy it in Geekbind web store. Link to the smartphone in the description below. And that is all for today, I'm Elijah, hope you like my review of the Blue Boodoo, please subscribe to our channel, like the videos and comment. Thank you for watching and farewell!